What's up guys, welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Now I've got another squad builder today on the league and not. So again, we've gone outside of the top five leagues. Uh, I did this in FIFA 20, it got like 6,000 views. You absolutely loved it. Uh, so I thought again, let's, let's just do it again, why not? Let's do a FIFA 21 instead of FIFA 20 though, obviously. Uh, again, another good start team. Uh, to be honest with you, I think I might make this team or my Eredivisie one. Again, a, I have also done a squad build on the Eredivisie. I've done like two on the Premier League, I've done one on the Bundesliga. I have done an absolute shed ton of starter teams for FIFA 21. So all of them on my channel, if you want to check them out. And if you do enjoy the video, please do smash it a big thumbs up. Drop a sub if you haven't already and turn on post notifications. And if you want one FIFA 21 for absolutely free, there will be a link to a giveaway in the top bar of the description and the pinned comment. Uh, and again, if we hit 100 likes on this video like normal, I'll give away a bonus copy of FIFA 21. So again, Smash a big thumbs up and let's get into the video. Okay, so we're going with the 4 3 3 formation. Now, I've done a mix right 4 4 2. I did a 3 the back formation for my ODBZ one. Now, for this one, we're going for a 4 3 3. Uh, now, a few features ago, uh, it's probably one of the best formations in the game, to be honest with you, and nearly the majority of people used it. Basically, FIFA 20, everyone used 4 2 3 1, uh, and you know, that basically kind of became the most popular formation in FIFA, in my opinion. Uh, but we're going to do a 4 3 3 today. Again, you could probably play one of the centimeters in CAM, so you could have like the fourth variation, or you could put one of the centimeters in CDM. Again, it's quite a flexible midfield where, depending if you're winning the game, losing the game, or what minute it is, you can adapt the team to that circumstance. But in goal, we've got Mark Hizun. Um, I believe that's how I say his name. To be honest with you, uh, goalkeepers, I don't really look for much. High rated and high speed is just what I look for. Uh, again, he looks half decent. Uh, and there's also like, the likes of Casillas in this league who, to be honest with you, I'm not looking at this, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's retiring at the end of the season or if he's just getting on quite a bit. And again, in, in FIFA in general, you want, pe you want keepers with good speed. So again, if they tramp it across the box, your keeper's got a higher chance of getting from one side of the post to the other side of the post and potentially saving it. Left back, we have got the Borger. Now, uh, honestly, the reason I've gone for him, in FIFA 20, he had 86 pays. Honestly, he looks like an absolute pace merchant on the left-hand side. Again, this formation, it's just basically a wing formation to be honest with you. You know, they get the ball, you distribute it to the left or the right-hand side, and you play it down the wing, and then you get it across the box and try and score a goal, to be honest with you. Uh, so, he fits his team and tactic perfectly, and that's why he's at left-back. Okay, so very similar qualities up right-back with Sacco. 92 pays in FIFA 20. Again, hopefully you see about 90 pays in FIFA 21. Again, fits his tactic perfectly. Uh, honestly, I couldn't really ask for much more. Again, I know he's defending probably quite low, but at the end of the day, he absolutely pays merchant and fits his team perfectly. Okay, so moving on to the two centre backs, we've got Ruben Diaz. Uh, to honest with you, there's not too many good uh, centre halves in the league and us uh, for like starter team, for like sort of high pace defending physical. But in terms of physicality, he's absolute beast. Ruben Diaz is, and again, he could he literally looks like he just body ever off the ball. Uh, so he's gone there. Now his partner and Bember. Now I reckon this guy's gonna get a bit of an upgrade in FIFA 21. So hopefully he's seeing a gold card. We did have a silver, silver card in FIFA 20. Again, this guy's got decent pace, decent defending, decent, decent physical. Uh, so he's just gone right in there. Now the midfield, we got Bataglia or Bat Bataglia. Uh, again, this is for in terms of midfield. This guy is pretty much your centre mid, maybe a bit more CDM, but for me, this is your, this is your centre mid. Now, next to him, we've got Doombia, who honestly, uh, he's just got absolutely body people. Again, high physical centre mid. He he's basically the centre mid, which is absolutely commits all the fouls, goes goes in on every single player. Uh, so maybe even get sent off, but likely get a lot of yellow cards. Uh, across your, your foot champions or division rivals, whatever you're playing. Now, finally, the other centre mid, Jao Amaro? 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 I, I don't know how to say his name, boys. But he is an absolute pace merchant again. This team is full of pace merchants. Uh, he's a silver card in FIFA 20. Honestly, I don't know if he's going to get going to a goal in FIFA 21. But absolute pace merchant. To be honest with you, his passing attacks aren't too great. Uh, if that's one thing, to say in the midfield is kind of used for passing. The passing stats of these 
three plays aren't too great, but for Targaryen, he's a decent CDM. Uh, you can probably play in centre mid. Doombia is absolutely going to be bodying people at the ball. Uh, and then obviously this Jow guy, he's just going to absolutely run through just going to run through the, the midfield, the, the opponent's defence, he's just going to be an absolute playmaker to be honest with you, uh, but definitely Patagalia and Doombia are more CDMs and more just sitting back, so again maybe having them both on the save whilst attacking, you are quite a defensive player, and for now this Jao guy, probably, I'll probably put him in the centre centre mid spot, so I'll have Patagalia on the left, Doombia on the right, and this Jao guy in like, the actual centre of the field, uh, I need to change that on my screen, but again, you're just going to run for the whole opponent's team. You know, we may play into the striker, which we'll reveal soon, or one of the wingers, put it back across the box and tap it in. But moving on to the attack now, we have got now I was going to go for Kuna, but to be honest with you, I don't know if he's going to be a left back or a left winger. So again, if you want to put Acuna in your team, who was unreal on FIFA 20, one of the best, like, non top five league plays I've used the whole game. Uh, but Acuna's really good. If he gets a left wing card, you can play him at left wing. If he gets a left back, you can play him at left back. But we've got Jovan Cabral. Now, again, for me, your wing is the most important stat is 100% pace. To be honest with you, you ain't really going to be shooting much with your wingers, you ain't defending much with them. Dribbling is probably your second most important one, but for me, as long as you've got good pace just to beat the defender, that's all you need to do really as a winger, is have enough pace to beat your defender. Skills are a good one as well, I'm not really too sure how many skills, what, what skill moves these have got, but pace merchant, Cabral at left wing. Now right wing, we've got DRB, again another pace merchant, not too sure what skill moves he's got, uh, but basically the same kind of build. Uh, as Cabral and kind of same qualities. Now a striker, I reckon you could probably already guess this one, but we're going for Mubega. Now honestly, this guy I thought was going to be in FIFA 20, and I did actually use him. Honestly, he had 88 pace and 90 physical in FIFA 20, and he's an 88, he's an 80 rated rare goal card. Now as long as he doesn't get too much of a downgrade, and as long as he stays in the Liga Nos, for me, he's probably one of the best starter strikers on the whole game across all the leagues because he looks unreal. Yes, his shooting's a bit low, but he works so well in this 4-3-3 tactic because, again, the main kind of point of this uh, formation is to distribute it to the wide. So, again, the left wing, the right wing, play it across the, like, the flanks. Uh, and then, all you've got to do, maybe an RBX, maybe just cross it into the box. Again, Mareg is quite, I think he's quite tall to us with you, so you can probably win a header. Basically, get out wide, put it across the box, and then all Mareg's got to do is tap it in. His shooting doesn't even have to be that good, he just needs to tap it in. Again, the physical, body and plays off, so you can win the header. The pace, so he can burst through. Honestly, he fits his team perfectly, and honestly, I, I think he's going to be one of the best strikers for starter teams in the whole FIFA 21. 